Occupational Safety and Health Administration once estimated that more than 200,000 healthcare professionals, including anesthesiologists, nurse anesthetists, surgical and obstetric nurses, operating room technicians, nurses aides, surgeons, anesthesia technicians, post anesthesia care nurses, dentists, dental assistants, dental hygienists, veterinarians and their assistants, emergency room staff, and radiological department personnel are potentially exposed to waste anesthetic gases and are at risk of occupational illness. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health describes waste anesthetic gases as small amounts of volatile anesthetic gases that leak from a patient's anesthetic breathing circuit into the air of operating rooms during delivery of anesthesia. These gases may also be exhaled by patients recovering from anesthesia. Waste anesthetic gases include both nitrous oxide and halogenated anesthetics. Some potential effects of exposure to waste anesthetic gases, according to OSHA, are nausea, dizziness, headaches, fatigue and irritability, as well as sterility, miscarriages, birth defects, cancer, and liver and kidney disease among operating room staff or even their spouses in the case of miscarriages and birth defects. The agency goes on to state that employers and employees should be aware of the potential effects and be advised to take appropriate precautions. Fortunately, there are a number of ways to control exposure to waste anesthetic gases. These include, but are not limited to, engineering controls, work practices, hazard communication and training, and air monitoring. These are just a few things to know about waste anesthetic gases and potential occupational exposure risks. To learn more about this or other air testing and monitoring, industrial hygiene, environmental health or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.